storms getting ready to roll in and in five years of raising a garden out here I've never had the deer get inside the fence they literally destroyed my peas ate the tops out of my peppers and ate most of the leaves off of my sweet potatoes and mowed my potatoes down to the ground this was a potato patch here you can see remnants of plants and they also ate some of my blueberries and some other things I have back here um, so when I first built this garden I put seven foot fence posts in the ground and field fence and my intention was to always run uh, barbed wire on the tops and I never got it done but I just spent the couple evenings ago running barbed wire all the way around my garden and the funny thing about it was I really needed two strands but I just put one up higher I haven't seen any signs they've been in here since I did that where before it was easy to tell they were here because they would poop all over the place so I found several places that had like deer scat and I haven't seen any deer scat since I put the barbed wire up which is a good thing because I'm hoping that solved my problem the bad thing is now I'm worried they're going to try to jump into the orchard and destroy it <laughs> and I only use five foot fence posts there because I never had problems with the deer trying to jump the fence one of my larger fig trees is about ready to start fruit production you can tell because let me find a place here I just took a picture a little bit ago you can see it right there see those two little knots where the leaf meets that stem one of those let's see if I can get it to focus there you go one of those will turn into a fruit the other one will turn into a new leaf There it is, right there. So one of those will turn into a fruit. The other one will turn into a new leaf growth. And I usually let them fruit on their own. But you can force them to fruit if you pinch off the tops. Like this right here. If I just pinch that off, every place that's got two nodes all the way down through there will fruit. But I give them until about mid-July before I pinch them because it takes them about 90 days so you'd have uh, mid-August, mid-September, mid-October they'd be ready to, to harvest but I'll wait until give them a couple more weeks and kind of let them do it on their own and if they don't do it by mid-July it's actually only mid-June right now so they got a couple of weeks if they don't do it on their own I'll force them to fruit and this should actually produce quite a bit of figs this year it's a pretty large fig tree four main branches they put on two foot of growth this year and my other fig over here is also doing pretty decent not as good as that one which is funny because this is actually an older fig this fig is two years older than that one over there and it's half the size but it should also start fruiting soon too Anyways, what this is really about was my garden pretty much is shot due to the deer. I got one bed here that I'm planning on planting some melons in. I haven't gotten around to it yet. The weeds took over this bed. Something actually got in and destroyed 
and I don't think it was a deer. I think it might have been a raccoon or a possum. Got in and just destroyed everything that was in this bed and got in here and basically pushed all the onions over too. So, there's an onion getting ready to seed. Wow. Anyway, so the onions, there was a bunch of garlic in there. Oh, it's been a mess. Anyways, that's an update. Five minutes, 36 seconds. That's long enough. So, oh yeah. I was going to show you this too. I, uh, because my tomato plants always take up so much room, I wanted to plant them in a different spot. So I made this new place up here. Planted a bunch of tomato plants. And look. The deer got them also I tell you they only got the first one two three plants but if they got those or they already got an eye on the other ones so I hope I hope they eat these plants it gives them the shit and they don't come back for more but um that's, yeah, that's kind of the garden update. It's going to be a bad year. <laughs> I didn't get beans planted yet. Stuff that should already be in the ground isn't. Um, another thing I got going on is my grapes seem to be doing really well if the birds don't get to them first. I don't think I've ever seen this many grapes on this grapevine. As long as I've had it growing here, I think this is the fourth year now. But yeah, the whole entire grapevine has got just loaded with grapes. I hope they ripen and the birds don't get to them. Anyways, that's all. There's a storm moving in. I'm sure you can hear it in the background. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thanks for watching.